How does Shopify deal with their technical debt? I think we can all learn from their example. As we engineers write code at a company that we work at, we constantly face this pressure of shipping the features faster, shipping some kind of a bug fix or even the product itself fast. It would be even better if you do it even faster than that. Well, this obviously leads to a lower quality of code because when you're in a rush, you can miss something and don't have enough time to fully implement the feature and make sure that the code is clean. Obviously, as the time goes, these small details accumulate and at the end of the day, you have a lot of technical debt living in your repository. But this isn't the only reason of a technical debt. Usually technical debt can also come from the fact that developers don't have enough skills, which is completely normal, but you need to make sure that there are very good code reviews or peer reviews by other developers done whenever your code is being merged to the main branch. Also, in my own team, I found that pair programming actually helps a lot with technical debt. So to combat their technical debt, Shopify did the following. They came up with this idea of categorizing their technical debt into yearly, monthly, weekly, and daily technical debt. Yearly technical debt can also be called a completely new rewrite. This is when people gather on some kind of a meeting and they decide that they need to pivot or get rid of some kind of a system and rewrite the system from the ground up, probably using a new technology or some modern technology. As the name suggests, getting rid of this technical debt may probably take over a year. And we're also gonna talk about how Spotify decided to prioritize their tasks and cleanups at the end of the video. Then we also have a monthly technical debt, which is basically a project where you can dedicate a separate team and that can completely focus on this new project of rewriting or improving the code base over several months. This one can already be added to our sprint or the backlog and somebody can create a ticket, put it there so that developers or a developer tackles this during the sprint. And last but not least, daily debt, which can also be called tidying, which means you deal with the technical debt as you write the code. For example, by using test-driven development, which is definitely going to make your code much cleaner. Or as I already said, pair programming, where your peer is watching over your code and suggesting cleanups where you might need this. So we understood that we have four categories of technical debt that can be done by one person or a group of people or a team over some time. Well, this is a given, but how exactly would you prioritize your technical debt by these categories? Well, Shopify claims that they are using the rule called 25% rule, which means we're gonna be spending 10% of our time on daily debt. So let's say, during one day, during a day, you're spending, you're working for 10 hours, hypothetically. One hour of that 10 hours span, time span, you're gonna be spending on the cleanup. Let's say before you push your changes to the repository, to the remote repository, you simply clean up your code and then push it. This is gonna be considered a daily technical debt or getting rid of it rather. Then they also spend 10% of their time on the weekly technical debt meaning they carry some kind of a task from one screen to another where they can clearly see who is working with this technical debt over the sprint. And obviously, if you're using a Kanban board or some kind of an other board, you can clearly track which tasks are being worked on and you can limit the amount of cleanup tasks or technical debt related tasks to 10%. And last but not least, 5% on monthly and yearly technical debt. Where, well, obviously you cannot start working on your monthly or yearly technical debt right away by fixing the code, but rather what you can do is spend this 5% of the time on meetings on how to plan and organize this cleanup. And then after people gather, discuss how they're gonna split the tasks and so on, these monthly and yearly technical debts are being torn down and split into weekly and daily technical debt. And at the end, in total, we will have 25%. If you like this video, as always, smash like. Otherwise, I'm going to see you in the next one. Hope you liked it. Have a nice rest of the day.